Hi, welcome to C programming lesson series on tutorpy.com. C is a great language for beginners to start computer programming. It's easy to understand and learn and also I must tell you that uh, there are tons of resources can be found online related to C programming. It is an interesting language to learn. Most of the basics are easy to understand but you should work hard and practice hard to become a good C programmer. In this lesson series, I'm gonna teach you how to program in C language. We'll start from the very beginning to advance uh, topics on C programming language. First of all, uh, we learn uh, how to set up your computer for programming. Now this step is a very important step because this is where you set up your PC for programming and uh, as a programmer you need uh, a text editor, an application uh, that we use to write the code and also you need uh, developer tools. In this sense uh, the developer tools are compilers. Now in this lesson series I am planning to teach you several text editors and also few IDEs but we'll start with Notepad++. Notepad++ is a free text editor you can freely download from the internet. So we'll be using Notepad++ in this uh, first few lessons and uh, I'm hoping to shift to maybe another text editor later in the series. For developer tools, uh, we'll be using Bolan C++ 5.5 compiler. Now, although this is a C++ compiler, you can use this compiler to build C applications. So we'll be using uh, Bolan C++ 5.5 compiler in this lesson series. I have given all the links that can be used to download Notepad++ and the Bolan compiler. So just click on these links that I have provided on the page and uh, download these programs. So to download Notepad++ text editor, you should uh, follow the link I have given here. HTTPS colon double slashes notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org. Now this is the website where you can find notepad plus plus text editor. You can freely download this and install in your computer. Now we'll see how to do that in a minute. So make sure your computer is connected to the internet. If it is connected to the internet we can go to the website and start downloading the application. Now let us download the Notepad++ application. Now in this PC I'm using uh, Windows 8 as the operating system and also I'm using uh, Google Chrome as my browser. So on the address bar I'll type Notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org. So this is a website we'll be using to download Notepad++ text editor. So you can uh, go to download link here, click on it and then uh, you can choose uh, which version of the application you want to download. Now you can see here you have a 32 bit version of the software and also you have the 64 bit of the software. Now in my system I'm using 64 bit system so I'll be downloading this. So for Windows uh, the installer you can see a notepad plus plus installer 64 bit. So this is the one I should click to download the executable file or the setup file of the notepad plus plus text editor. So if you have 32 bit version of uh, system then you must click on this link 
to download it so I'll be clicking on this one and you can see it already started downloading and finish and I open the folder show in folder so this is the software it's a very small software it's about uh, 2.8 MBs now we'll install this I'll double click and run the application it's a setup file so click yes on user account control dialog box and then select the language I'll be selecting English but if you choose uh, other languages they are available here so we click OK and then click next and license agreement click I agree and the destination folder where you'll be installing the application so just uh, click next so the default location will be program files that's okay fine and click on the next button so make sure all these uh, checkboxes are selected but uh, localization is optional because uh, we'll not be doing a lot of localization so just uncheck that you don't need localization uh, but make sure the other checkboxes are selected and click next okay uh, we'll create a shortcut on the desktop also so I click on this checkbox that will create a shortcut on the desktop and the rest of uh, checkboxes I don't need to select so I'll click on the install button that will start installing the application okay so the application was installed and uh, we'll click on finish that will open notepad app I need to change uh, you can see I'll change uh, the theme little bit right now we installed the notepad plus plus text editor now this is a text editor it's already opened and uh, I'll close this file simply click on this close button here so you can start uh, creating text files using this and uh, I change uh, the theme of Windows a little bit so that is why the colors have change just close this now next we need to install bolan compiler we'll see how to download and install bolan compiler in the next lesson